Hello YouTube, it's Jerry D in Tennessee. Let's talk about some stocks. Uh, let's see, the first stock, Biorestorative Therapies. Incorporated, BRTX. Okay, so this week they've run below about a half a cent. And then about midweek they started climbing, or Tuesday, I might as well say. So got up fifty one point three nine percent, up to one cent. So they jumped from half a cent. They jumped up half a cent. So that's an opportunity. As I say, it's a good opportunity to double your money. And the banks aren't going to do that. I mean, half a cent. Yeah. So if you got it at 0.05 and got out at 0.0110, um, I think you're good. All right, Tim, I'm trying to do the video. <laughs> He's still sending out alerts. Uh, this is uh, Christmas Eve, 1224, 2020. I'd like to say Merry Christmas to everybody. Hope uh, everybody has had a good year. Hope there's a lot of good things come your way this new year. And uh, hope you have a lot of good blessings. Hope your families are so safe. So, uh, I will also add, I am not a financial advisor. I'm not a stock advisor. This is uh, something I do. This is for entertainment and educational purposes. Okay, now that I've got that out of the way. So, <clears throat> this guy spiked this week. And mainly... Um, they just recently reorganized, so they're in the uh, public side. They were going to file bankruptcy, and they're pulling themselves out. So they're turning the company around, and that's positive news. That was the end of November that they come out with this this news. And plus, it doesn't hurt that people are uh, tweeting on Twitter, different social media um, um Investors Hub, Stock Twits, you know, there's different different chat rooms and stuff that this stock has been brought up. So, congrats on all those that's made money on this stock this week. Um, you can see where all the buys, there's a selling, people selling off right here as the price is going down. And I'll, I've said it once, I'll say it again, these stocks go up and down. This stock... If you got, well, right now, if you're still in it, you're still green anyway. But they go up and down. And this one, I, I kind of expect, as they come out of this bankruptcy, as they pull themselves up, then um, I think they'll, they'll do well. This looks like they're, the company's turning itself around, so that's a good, good thing. So let's look at another one. ALPP, Alpine 4 Technology. Somebody said something, said I should look at this stock this week on one of my YouTube videos. And uh, we started out... Uh, what, a lowest was the dollar twelve? Yeah, dollar twelve, dollar eleven, excuse me. Lois is about a dollar eleven this week, and then uh, she started a steady climb. Right here's the highest. Either this one, yeah, this is the highest points. So it more than doubled, one hundred thirty-eight percent. Is 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 what we gained on this stock this week. Uh, I wasn't quite that high when I got out of it, but I was right in here about midway in here. Because I was afraid, you see how this, this jump right here? This is quick. 
This is a quick spike. And again, the stock can fall in price that quick. And I get scared sometimes in some of these stocks, they get so volatile. They can drop that fast. I've lost money that way, and you can too. So you need to be aware that, uh, you know, this is a risk. This is a risk, but you can still make money. You just got to look at the, all the signs. But, uh, you know, I don't even have any indicators on. Let's see. RSI. MACD. You can see where these go up. See where it's starting to spike right here? These are going up. This was a little choppy going up, but then it hits right here and then it jumps. So we end out around 279 and it could go higher before it's out. We still got a little time. Uh, the after hours trading was till 5 p.m. tonight from 1 to 5. So um, it's 12.10 right now. So uh, this could do something after hours as well. Cost you a little more to trade after hours. They'll charge you a few pennies more to trade after hours. But, um, you know, sometimes I've made money. I've made uh, some pretty good profit after hours. So pretty good spike. The, let's see, 161% here at the high, 285. Is that what it hit? Yeah, the high 285. And they're still trading. So, and you see the RSI or the MACD is still going up. RSI is still on a vertical plane. And if I turn on Yeah. Volume moving average. You see how this kind of levels off and starts coming down as the price is coming down. And now it's curving up as the prices went up. So uh, this is a pretty good, uh, been a pretty good move on this stock this week. Uh, congratulations for everybody that um, got into this and made money on this stock. Um, this just goes to show the stocks are still spiking during a pandemic a pandemic can't even talk so yeah you can make you can make money in the stock market you know my dad told me i was an idiot if i invested in the stock market but my dad's old school and a lot of people have been brought up thinking and been told Oh, you can lose money in the stock market. And you can. You can actually lose money in the stock market. But you can also make money if you learn to look at these indicators and see what the price action is doing in the stock. You can see when to buy and sell the stock and make your money. That's, that's how you do it. Learn to use the tools that's available to you when you trade the stock. Get in a chat room. Go go buy in the hundred uh what is it? $150 a month um um Timothy Sykes, get in his chat room, get his get his list on his daily um stock list or his weekly uh watch list and look at the chat room and see what everybody in the chat room is trading because they're they're sticking messages in the chat room as they buy into the stocks. They're watching the stocks for each other. And the first one that sees a spike will make a comment and everybody else will follow suit and buy into the stock. And um, people's doing that with Twitter too, but you got to watch Twitter. There's a lot of people out there on Twitter. If you follow the wrong person, you'll lose some money. All right. So Alpine had some news December 21st. They're wanting to talk to Spencer Gore. Or Spencer Gore discusses the blacklisting of the Chinese drone manufacturer DJI. So they are in the news. This is off the news. The stock is spiked this week. It's went up. And it's holding the price. So congrats on those again that bought into the stock. 
this stock's done well this week. I'm sure it's going to do well in the future. It looks like it's going back up again some more. So if there's somebody in there long, um, yeah, uh, good luck. Good luck. So let's go to another one. AITX. This is, this is a good one. So earlier in the week, this stock was, uh, what, under a half a cent a share? Uh, to... From yesterday, yesterday, starting yesterday morning, all through today, this stock has been choppy, but it has went up. 137%. 140, excuse me, 140 at the high. So, 140%. That's nothing to sneeze at. Your savings account's not going to give you that kind of interest. I'm telling you. I am just telling you. But, again, again, turn on the indicators. RSI. MACD. Moving volume, what you did average, moving average. Look at that curve up. So this right here, though, the RSI would scare you, but I was watching L2 as well. I was watching the prices go through and saw that it was going green as it was going up. So right here, MACD, you see it's on a climb right there. Gets a little choppy, goes back up on another climb. See this peak right here as this climbs? It's going up another climb. Right there, the price went up again. Going up another climb. Price keeps going up. And this volume weighted average, steady climb up. But don't trust Yahoo now. Yahoo's going to be about a minute or two behind. So you need to use your chart within your stockbroker's uh, account. And it will be real time. Okay? Don't trust Yahoo. This is I do this for historical, looking it up historically. Unless you buy in, I think you can buy the Yahoo. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. You can buy in Yahoo and get real time, but I'd rather trust my stock broker. I use eTrade and I want I do use the chart in eTrade and I'll watch these indicators within my stock broker. Every time while I'm trading. So, robotic assistance, snooze, devices, large opportunity on the immediate horizon. On Business Wire, they had an article about, hey, this is a good investment. So they got, on news, on news, the stock went up. It looks like it's going to hold its price. It's on a steady climb up. Who knows how high it's going to get before it's over with. It may climb again next week. I may be reporting on this stock again next week. We shall see what will happen. But uh, again, here's three good examples. Stock spikes. I'm pulling these out left and right. I'm looking at chat rooms. I'm going out to places like FinBiz. I'm running reports on E-Trade. I'm looking for gainers, and then I'm watching what L2's doing, and then I look at the volume weighted average, RSI, and the MACD. I look to see what that's doing. And that's what I look at to determine that should I buy into the stock. If the momentum on this stock, buying through the strength of the buys, the momentum is, is going, then you can get into the stock and don't have to really worry a whole lot about losing. Just as long as you're in the green, get out of it while you're still green. Don't wait for it to drop. Don't be at this peak and it, it goes down below what you bought in and be in the red. You know, try to cut losses as fast as you can. Keep your eye on the stock when you buy into it. But again, I'm not a I'm not a stock professional. Uh stock advisor i'm not a financial advisor this is just a hobby and this is for educational and informational purposes 
But thank you for uh, checking out my video. And uh, again, hope you have a Merry Christmas. Hey, thanks for coming by. Um, glad you checked out the video. Hope you liked it. If you like it, please click on the like button. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Um, may God bless you and I hope you have a good day. And bye.